Man, look here. <laughs> uh, you can see when something is forced, fake, manufactured, engineered, whatever. They've been trying to push Lil Baby as this, you know, pro-black, uh, revolutionary type of rapper for the last year and some change now. Um, years ago, you had rappers like KRS-One, Public Enemy, early Tupac, when Tupac made records like, you know, Keep Your Head Up, Brenda's Got a Baby. Tupac came from that. You know, his mother was associated, was Black Panther. Revolution, revolutionary Tupac, a lot of white people didn't like him. Uh, they loved him once he did the Thug Life gimmick. Once he did that Thug Life shit, after the success of the Juice movie, when he played Bishop and he killed it, it made the Thug Life gimmick even more believable. All of a sudden, he's tatted up, he's wearing bandanas. And strictly for my niggas on down, Tupac went out with the Thug Life shit. They didn't like Tupac prior to that. They loved him when he did that. Uh, but, you know, Ice Cube was very pro-black and, and made records like, you know, Check Yourself and all of those. That was genuine. That was realistic. Even if you were going to go in that direction today, there's cats like Kendrick you could use. Uh, J. Cole, they're a little bit older and the message actually links with their music and what they're saying. Lil Baby is a hot rapper from Atlanta that makes music about lean, perks, drugs, and, and you know, money and girls. His message that he puts out does not relate to what they're, they're trying to get him to do. Uh, and they, they did the bigger than black, bigger than black, I'm like, it's a problem with the whole world, I it can change overnight. They did that. That was whole, all of that was manufactured. Somebody told him to make that, you know. And every time I see Lil Baby with Benjamin Crump and all of these people, Tamika Mallory and them, it looks forced. It looks like he don't even want to be there. He just got that look on his face like, yo, let's get this over with and cut the check. Because they definitely are cutting a check. You know, civil rights, and someone said this last week, real activists and people who were really standing up for black folks, they got their houses bombed. They got death threats. They got arrested. They got rocks thrown at them, all kind of shit. You've heard about all of the stuff that our people went through back in those days. Nowadays, activists get private jets. Al Sharpton has a private jet. Look it up. Um, they get... Uh, Cadillac deals and Grammy uh, cameos. They did the, the Grammy performance. They had Lil Baby perform the record at the Grammys and Tamika Mallory was out there and they reenacted this whole police brutality thing. This all has become a joke. And you're trying to force and manufacture someone who doesn't, this, this isn't who he is. And he even went on record and says he'll never do that type of song again. And that's why I'm lost at with him. It's like, okay, he said he would never do something, uh, a, a, another political record like that. But yet he goes to the Grammys and they do the song and then they show up at the White House uh, for George Floyd's anniversary, which is, I mean, they, they, they claim George Floyd's nephew. Um, they're going to make a bill, a George Floyd legislation bill. I'm like, okay, so y'all, after two months after that boy shot up those nail salons in Atlanta, uh, now... You know, now you cats are talking about getting a, a bill passed for George Floyd. What, 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 what bill? That cops can no longer kill black people? It's been a year since George Floyd got killed, and that's still going on. Dante Wright and all these other, we still know people by the first and last name basis based off them getting shot, you know, tased, whatever. So it, it has no credibility to it. Y'all are just parading this around. I mean, hell, they brought little baby out to George Floyd's daughter's birthday party. Shaq was out there. I mean, this this whole thing has become a joke. Y'all are just using black celebrity to try to push an agenda that's not realistic. The little baby is not going home worrying about, you know, black people and, and, and where our lives head. That's not who he is. And that's not make that doesn't make little baby a bad person, but where I lose respect for him is he says that he's done. And you don't want to be Martin Luther King or Malcolm X, but then you continue on to stand on camera with these fools. I don't get it. You know, the paychecks that they cutting for BLM must be marvelous. Because when you hot like he is, that boy getting at least fifty to $100,000 a show, if not more. So for them to be paying him to miss shows, to come to do these appearances, he getting broke off a lot of change. A lot of change. <laughs> now look at these pictures and tell me he looks like he wants to be there he doesn't want to be there this isn't who he is and they're forcing him on us and i'm not buying it i'm not buying it at all this is not who little baby is but y'all want y'all 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 are looking for 
that political rapper t- to represent this generation. T.I., I guess, is too old. You know, he's pushing 40. Um, and him and T, funny side story, Tiny and T.I. was at some church a couple of days ago praying and they stood up at the altar. And I'm like, yeah, now y'all niggas want to pray. Y- y'all in trouble, you know. <laughs> and then Killer Mike is another rapper, but he's not as popular as a little baby. And he's a little older, too. He's in his 40s. So they figured baby is perfect. He's young. He's hot. A lot of these young niggas like him. And if we could get him to take a stand the the rest of them and I'm I don't see it working. I I know a lot of little baby fans, a lot of niggas who listen to little baby and these niggas are not moved at this by all at all. So this is not working. Um but you know they they continue to force it on us anyway. But I don't I don't see the realistic. It's just kind of like when Rick Ross was was trying to promote activism and then every time he uh mentioned George Floyd or somebody uh he would put he would add all of his endorsement deals in the story. So it's like, nigga, you trying to promote your businesses, all of the companies you work for, or are you really trying to speak a message? You know what I mean? I see right through these niggas like I got x-ray vision, man. Little baby is being used, clearly. He knows he's being used, but the money's so good right now, I don't really think he even gives a fuck. But yeah, that, that kind of bothered me, um, honestly, the George Floyd anniversary uh, which nothing has gotten done. The family got got paid, and that's really about it. The family got paid, and, and Derek Chauvin got uh, convicted. But we just, we still don't even know what kind of time Derek Chauvin. De- Derek Chauvin might get two years. You don't even know. But everybody was dancing and celebrating in the streets, you know, singing. Uh, ain't no ain't no stopping us now. I, y'all gotta be honest with yourselves, and know when you're being played. Because right? right now they playing niggas like you know scam artists on Canal Street. And I, I know the game. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Lil Baby is being used by BLM heavily. You know what I mean? And, and yeah, I mean, this is the, the whole thing. It's bigger than black and white. <laughs> okay, look, I'll read what he said. The more I see, he says, and quote, Lil Baby said this. The more I'm seeing what's up with all that shit, the more I'm like, let me back up off politics. I don't want to be no Mar- Malcolm X or Martin Luther King. I'm, I'm stuck my nose in. I'm good on that. Yeah, because if you really was Malcolm X or Martin Luther King, they would have killed your young ass. Any nigga that has ever been a real threat to white supremacy, you get up out of here. You get locked up or you get killed. You don't get private jets. You don't get Grammy uh, performances. You definitely don't get trips to the White House where y'all are taking pictures and George Floyd's daughter is uh, asking Joe Biden for milk and cookies. Don't work like that. 